Hi, welcome back guys. Welcome to your first time here. I'm Vision Hero by Night Team. I bring you guys another video. Today I'm giving you guys my review for Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 14, Mother. Now, if Fear the Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon. There to miss more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. Now let's begin. So, this was a Teddy-focused episode along with Alicia and Dakota. Now, this is an episode I have mixed feelings about. Now... On one hand, um, I like that we got to see more of Alicia and we got to delve more into the ideology of Teddy. However, some of the things that happened in this episode just, I don't know, I just didn't really like the way they were played out. Now we got Alicia who, like we saw at the end of episode 11, was captured by Teddy. So you got Teddy who's trying to convert her to his side. Of course, Alicia's saying no. And due to the fact that Alicia destroyed their old bunker, he and Riley are on a mission to get to, their, to a new bunker. Now, Teddy decides to take Alicia on it by himself on this journey try to, to try and convert her. Now, before I leave, though, they have Dakota who shows up there. Now, this is a very interesting moment because I, I, don't, I don't, wasn't seeing this coming. And you got Dakota who, I don't know if she actually is turning to this side or if she's just being used as a mole for Morgan or what's going on. So it just felt weird that she showed up here. And she's trying to talk to Alicia. Now Alicia, however, ignores her say and is mad about her for the death of John. Now, this is all fine, well, and good. But my biggest issue here is that I can understand why she's mad at Virginia for killing a member of their group. But the way she pushes it off is like she... Like she knew John very well. I, I'm almost positive we never really saw any interactions between Alicia and John throughout the series. And it, they just make it up as like they were close friends. So it just doesn't make any sense. It feels like v very much forced conflict here. Whereas it, I feel like they should have done something different here. I don't know. I, I understand what they're going through here with Alicia being mad because she hurt their people. But at the same time, it feels like it's over the top due to the fact that, you know, it's John and Alicia no interactions barely with John throughout his run on the show. So, yeah, that's my issue there. But we got, they're on the road. They make a pit stop to pick up a corpse that Teddy claims to be his mom. Um, as they're on the road, though, they end up being, getting into a trap and their car blows out. Now, at this point, they decide to continue their mission on foot, and this is where they meet Cole from at Season 4 back at the stadium. Now, this is where we get into tricky territory for me. Because, for one aspect, I always do like it when they bring back old characters that, to tie up loose ends. But at the same time, these are characters that, one, were presumed dead already. And two, it just felt like they needed someone here and they'd use these guys. Because you got Cole and a few other people from the stadium that Alicia knew. And they're used as pretty much a way for Teddy to show Alicia that, you know, not everybody's good in this world. And you gotta get rid of them to start a new world. That's pretty much all Cole and his people are used for. Which, I don't know. I understand what they're going for, especially with it being connected to her mother and connected to Alicia's mom saving them all and everything like that. And how they pretty much, you know, ruined her uh, sacrifice. Um, that's the, it, it just felt weird. And honestly, one of the other issues I have is it felt out of nowhere. If they had somewhat set this up and maybe hinted at the return of these characters a few episodes back, similar to what I said about John Dory or JD in the previous episode, is if they had set it up a little bit better, so we had, there was a possibility or a hint at these characters returning, maybe that would have worked better. But at the same time, did it really matter? I mean, these characters are just characters that were like red shirts. And to bring them back now, it just felt forced and you got Cole who sh like I said he shows up says he can help him he explains that you know thanks to Madison a good amount of the stadium survivors you know made it out and they they were trying to look for Nick but things happened and you know that that's things went wrong that very quickly there and she he questions about what happened to Nick and everything how everybody's doing there and she's, he's trying to convince Alicia to abandon Teddy and Dakota and come join his people. Now, of course, as we 
see throughout the episode. Alicia is not going for that. She wants to find out m- more information on Teddy to help her people. And you got Cole just kind of doesn't is trying to just convince her to join him. Now they end up getting to this car repair shop where Cole says he can help them. And that's where they're ambushed by the Marauders who is revealed to be read by Cole. Now Cole had said that he had warned them of, that he had heard of this group. But it was he never said that he was a member of it until this point. At which point they take these three guys hostage and march them back to their truck. Where they plan to just rob them and kill them. Now, again, we get some more backstory about Cole here. Um, he, he, apparently, like, after everything happened, his people were attacked and mo- majority of them killed. So him and his people pretty much just turned into those same people and just, I guess, started killing people and taking their stuff. So, the issue here is, again, we've seen this happen before with different types of villains and everything. Things happened to them, so they became the villains that they they hated. So, you know... All that same BS. You got uh, Dakota who's talking to Teddy. She's learning more about each other. Um, You know, stuff there. Now, I did like how they used the title of the episode Mother to connect with all three of these characters' relationships with their mom. I know a lot of people were pissed off about that because they thought Madison was returning in this episode. Honestly, I didn't care, nor did I want her to return, nor do I really care or like the character. So I didn't care. Um, but I did like that. We got to delve a little bit more deeper into Dakota's feelings towards her sister slash mom. We got to see a little bit of talk about how Teddy's mother saw him, which is pretty cool. I did like how we also got some backstory and uh, flashbacks to Teddy. I wish we had gotten a little bit more, but with the amount we got, I'm, that's fine. I'm good with that. Um, but yeah, it was. I really liked how they expanded on that. But like going back to... The group pretty much marching to their death. Um, you know, again, you got Cole trying to convince so we should have come with him. He's also trying to get information out of Teddy on where they can go to hold up. And Teddy, of course, isn't telling him anything. At which point, Cole points a gun at him and friends to kill him if he doesn't tell him the information. Which pretty much, um, Teddy just laughs at him saying, if you kill me, you won't get the information, because I knew anyone he knows, which is, again, stupid ideology on Cole's part, which at that point, they've returned back to the truck, and then Teddy starts, or Cole starts shooting at the corpse of Teddy's mom, however, Teddy reveals it's just a random corpse, which was weird, again, don't totally understand that, um, and at the end of the day, Cole's people stripped of their car and everything, and pretty much prepare to leave um and that's when you know alicia tries to talk him down they they alicia tells him look just let us go and you know everything will be fine cole does somewhat agree to that but again uh, amongst the chaos a bunch of walkers show up and ambush um the group from the they're actually pretty much set from the same trap that cole used which is kind of comical and ironic and pretty much his people are all, all killed um, they focus in on two of the old people from the stadium. I forget their names, but they were somewhat okay slash important to the series. Not much. And I got to touch this. Their death was pr- really badly done. I don't know if it was the actors, bad acting, or the directors, or what the hell happened there. But my God, that, the way they were killed by the walkers was ridiculous. It's like they just... Banged into the side of the car and just stood there while the walkers being devoured them. Like it looked absolutely stupid. Like I don't even know what happened there. It, it I don't know. It was just horrible. Like they should have just not even focused on them, because it was just like a horrible scene of them dying. But you know, all of them die. Cole try tries to talk Alicia out of it, but at the end of the day, Alicia kills him, and you know. It, Finns move on, and Alicia then moves to kill Teddy, and it's revealed that he plans to nu- set, launch nukes I- into Texas or whatever to end the world. Which at that point, you got Dakota who radios, or Alicia who ra- radios Strand, however, you got Dakota saying it's not a good idea because Strand will only care for himself. And in the midst of the chaos, you got Riley who shows up 
disarms Alicia and they head on to their new bunker that Riley had found. So they found this new bunker. It's like this at this hotel or whatever. This old abandoned hotel or whatever. And you got Teddy who takes Alicia down there and he tells her, you know, he's chosen her to be the new leader of his group. Start out a new beginning or whatever. All that BS stuff. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much where it goes. He locks her in the in there with what I'm assuming is the rest of her people or his people, and pretty much leaves her there to lead to lead them. Not she yells at Teddy that she's not gonna help or lead them the way that he wants them to, and he says he's counting on that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where it goes. Um, this was an mixed episode some of it was okay some of it was bad some of it was some of it was coincidental if i had to give this episode a grade i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 just so many coincidences so many bad acting so many things that just don't make sense i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 probably the, i think it's probably the lo- lowest i've given this season so far just an episode that felt weird out of place and just I don't know. I like that we got to see more of Alicia. But some of the things that they did here with characters, with just personalities and everything, just didn't make sense. So, 7 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the episode in the comment section down below. So, yeah, guys, that's my review of Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 14, Mother. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon there to miss some more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. And you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is linked in the best section of my YouTube channel. As always, it's been Vision Hero Boy Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.